Oh my gosh! This is. Ah! I can't believe it, guys. I'm in the BFT. Scary animation. What am I doing there? I'm on me own right now. I told you I'll do it for you guys. I'm in the BFTs. I'm going to react to a scary animation. And I'm telling you now, it's so different from the daytime. It is so eerie in here. It's not good. Any animal could come at any moment. Give me a like for this one, guys. I need a big fat like. you got to subscribe. you got to hit the notification bell if you want me to do some more episodes in the BFTs. Are you ready to do this, guys? Make sure you keep the door open. You know the drill. Three, two, one. Let's go. Creepy guy stalked me through TikTok. This happened pretty recent. About three weeks ago. Oh, that Myself music. and three friends were hanging out at a shopping center one evening. We were messing around posting clips on TikTok. Then one of my friends started laughing. And I asked her what she was laughing at. She told me that guy behind us kept staring at me. When I Gosh, we've got another creep behind a tree. Of all things, he's hiding behind a tree. And now I'm in trees. I'm in trees and he's hiding behind a tree. Why did I choose this compilation? I don't know. TikTok, fine. Trees, no. It was some older guy just watching me. He had black sunglasses, a cap, an old Adidas tracksuit with scuffed up shoes, and had a disgusting looking beard. Ugh. My friends thought it was hilarious, but I found it really weird. Then another one of my friends said she thinks that guy lives on her street, about a few houses down from her. Greg. She said that he actually follows her on TikTok. At that point, I quickly got my phone out. Did she say that he follows her on TikTok? That old man follows her on TikTok? Oh my God, he's a stalker. He's stalking that girl through TikTok. <laughs> and he hides behind trees. Ugh. Check if he was following me. And he was. I had to block him because he seemed a bit creepy. She blocked him, guys. We went to get McDonald's before we went home, and I received a message on TikTok from someone. It was that guy who had been following us. Oh, no. His name was Greg. Why did you block me? It's on. It's going to be on. This is mad. And he mad, wrote, mad, mad, mad. Why did you block me? With two emojis. One was a crying face, and the other one was an angry face. Oh, no, it's, it's he had actually created another account that day in the shop. Why are them girls all turned black? It wasn't like that a minute ago. They're all black now. Look at the creepers. I blocked that account as well, hoping that would be the end of it. Oh, no. What is I didn't on? mention it to my friends this time, knowing they would just laugh. That night, I was up late and had Netflix on in the background as I was chatting with my friends on Facebook while scrolling through TikTok. I got up to use the bathroom, and when I returned, I had three messages from my friends, all saying the same thing. All were things like, who's in your room? Oh, and what's no. up with your last post? I asked them what they were talking about, and they told me to check my TikTok, so I did. It was a clip of my bedroom. <gasps> Oh, the clip of her in the bedroom, guys. We've got this dude, this old man who's following her, stalking her. He's kind of hacked into her phone. He's filming her bedroom clips from what a bedroom looks like. Now, that has got to be a situation nobody wants to be involved in. Comment down below. Tell me if you're scary now. Because I've been reading these comments, and a lot of you guys are saying, no, it was funny. It wasn't scary. This one's got to be scary. You've got to be commenting scary. I want to see you scary, because I know you're scary. I'm, I'm trembling right now. I'm feeling the Look pressure. Someone picking up my phone and recording the inside of my room. What? Yeah. At that point, I heard. What? What was? Oh no, that was just me when it freaking out for nothing. I'm sure the the leaves was moving. Is that? I thought birds go to sleep when it's dark. No way. I'm sure that was moving then. Freaking. Then I heard a man's voice say, "Sorry, please don't scream." Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh! This is. Ah! You, 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 you. You're not funny. You can't talk. You're not funny. You're not funny. This, you're just not funny. God, you say it's dark. Why would you do it when it's dark? Oh, come on, it's night time and it's not good being in the BFTs. You're next. Bye-bye. You're next. Bye-bye. Nincompoop. I should have just thought that would happen. It's obvious. Can't just leave me in peace. In turn to see my closet door slightly open. I started to scream when the same guy who had been following us burst out of my closet and tried no, to cover my mouth. Get off her! Get Thank off God her. I screamed and it was enough for my parents to Come hear. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. They came upstairs and my dad tackled the guy to the floor. Yes! The police were called and he was arrested. We were informed that the guy had straight up admitted to stalking and breaking and entering. 
one of my friends pointed my out. My goose pimples, guys. If Seriously. I go back and look at the post on TikTok from when we were in the shopping center, it's been you everywhere. can see Greg is in almost all of those pictures. It's in that costume. Somewhere. It's in that costume. Oh my God, Greg has been everywhere following these girls, stalking them. It's in the costume at the park. The that is crazy. I haven't heard what's going to happen to Greg yet, but I just hope he won't ever come near us again. Believer, go back to like a little kid, like a little child. <laughs> I don't know if I can carry on. I really don't know if I can carry on, guys. Get away! Move now! I'm reacting. Leave me alone. Come on, man. Calm down, Dad. You're making so much noise. It's literally only an animation. Someone tried to kidnap me when I went canoeing. Number two, guys. Let me know how you thought about the first one. If it was scary. Or it funny. happened about six months ago. I was in a scouting group, and at the end of the semester with the last group meeting, we always did something special. But this time was a little different. Instead of going indoor climbing, our scout leaders decided to go canoeing. I was really excited about it because I'd never canoed before. Cool. As always with every trip, we should have to be an hour earlier as we were riding our bikes to the destination. I noticed something. Oh no. It was a creepy looking old man staring at us with an almost psychopathic like grin on his face. Oh, look at that weird looking round face. You just don't want to bump into that face down a dark alley or in any trees or BFTs. Oh, gives you the shivers, doesn't it, guys? His clothes looked old and dirty. But I shook it off, thinking that even if the guy was some kind of creep, it still wouldn't matter because we were with the group. As we arrived at our destination, the guy from the canoe company told us how to row and that we had to choose our buddy to canoe with. I chose my friend Noah that we've been friends since elementary. We got to go first, and it was sort of a race, so we were happy to go first. Everything seems peaceful. The trip's not having any problems, guys. But you just know it's all going to change. It's just obvious. It's going to change, and it's going to change for the wrong reasons. Just... But within 10 minutes, we got passed by my little brother and his friend. It went pretty normal after that. We saw this guy in the middle of the stream in a boat, just fishing and sipping a beer. It's the weird guy. 10 minutes after, I saw the same guy I saw on the way here. He was just standing on the ground next to the stream with that same awful grin on his face. That is a dangerous grin. I thought grin. of it as being a cliche, as this always happens in the movies. <sighs> Noah also said, <laughs> ah, it's probably just a coincidence. He said, this place is a popular camping place, especially at this time of the year. To be honest, he wasn't that scary that time. He might just be an old crazy man trying to scare some of the kids. So I just canoed on and half an hour later, we were at the end. I got wet so I grabbed a towel and we went back to the meeting place. After that, I was going home alone, riding my bike. Why have you, why have you decided to go home alone? I don't know. Come on, you've spotted this weird looking tramp old man. He's obviously stalking you guys. Get your grip of yourself, think about it. It's gonna go wrong. You're a young lad, look after yourself. I've told everyone you need. Oh. <sighs> You just know it's coming. Can't even speak. And I saw that same old guy. In what did I just say? I told you this would happen, dude. Come on, dude. Car with another man who was sitting back seat, and they started slowing down. And the man asked me, "Hey, kid, looks like you need a ride." Oh, no, I don't. Don't you get in that car? The man behind the wheel said nothing, and I tried to say it as polite as possible. Oh, no, thanks. I'm almost home anyway. Oh, no. As I looked at the man again, and I noticed fury and madness in his eyes, which I didn't know why. Oof. I just got scared. So I pedaled my bike out of fear of being kidnapped. Oh, yeah. But the car started chasing me, oh, and no. they blocked the road. It was around 9 p.m. Oh, I told you, I don't like full moons, guys. I don't like full moons. I don't like the moon. The moon freaks me out. I don't know about you guys, but the moon, I just can't deal with the moon. Especially when it's a full moon. <laughs> Maltese ahead. Everyone comment down below, Maltese ahead. Weird though. In a suburban neighborhood, <laughs> nobody was out on the street. 
As that guy opened the door, he jumped out and pushed me aside from oh. my bike. I saw him with a gun. a gun in his hand. Oh God! Then he's got a gun. he finally knocked me out unconscious. What are you doing to this? I don't boy? remember how many hours passed. However, I could hear the sirens dimly. Two police officers saw this car was speeding, so they were chasing him. Come on, then drive! I also heard gunshots, which made me so scared. It's on fire! And then they shouted, "Shots fired! Shots fired!" Two minutes later, the gunshots stopped. And the trunk where I was, was open. Oh my gosh, he's ended up in the car trunk. That is just the weirdest thing ever. You've gone out for a little day out canoeing. How can your life end up like that? From canoeing on the lake, happy days, to in a boot of someone's car. Duct tape and everything. Awful experience. Awful. It was a police officer. Saved he took him. me out and told me, it's safe now. Don't worry. Later, an ambulance arrived soon so I could go to the hospital and met my parents there. Now six months passed, but I still think about what if the police officers didn't see them and they took me to the place where they were heading. That was weird, me. That was so weird. A true horror story about my dad. When I was nine, my father had died. I didn't know how and why. Oh, gosh, I was just is... sad about it. Sadly, I soon got over it sad, and we just look at the pictures I had of him. After some time had passed, I constantly saw him. Whenever I saw him, oh, I told my mom, Ghost. Daddy's home, Mommy. Daddy's back from his long trip. Well, she thought those were recurring dreams, and maybe a sign that I wasn't handling his death well. <laughs> Whenever I told her, she would just take me and my sister out to get some ice cream. I soon stopped telling her, because after we moved across the city where I lived, which is Reno, Nevada. I still saw him sometimes in my sixth grade class. It's getting a bit breezy in here, guys, you know. <sighs> I can't do it in here, guys, all the time, you know. You're gonna have to just, just pop it. Got me sense and asking me to do it in here. <sighs> One time, when my best friend and I were working during math class, I saw my dad sitting beside me. Then I whispered to my friend that my dad was right next to me and that he constantly followed me around. <sighs> But he was different from how I remembered. Because there was always a bullet hole on the left side of his forehead near his- Oh, come on, give me a break! <laughs> That's the weird as hell! In the seventh grade, he still followed me around well. and always frowned every time he saw my stepdad either hitting me or screaming at me. Oh my gosh. My stepdad was kind of tough, so he did that to me sometimes. Bully! Whenever my stepdad would enter the room, he got mad at him. I heard my dad gently one time in a dream tell me that he had killed himself because of my oh, mom. Gosh, that's awful. He that's said that my mom cheated on him and always yelled at him saying he wasn't good at being a father. Over the summer between 9th and 10th grade, I was in summer school taking the second semester of Algebra 1. I was sitting at the front by the door when go. all of a sudden something outside caught my attention. My dad was staring oh. in through the window of the door. Twins. His eyes were empty. I was horrified being watched by him. He came into the room and sat at the empty desk next to me. Awful idiot. And I knew that he was not the same. I felt something was going wrong. I've grown up now, but I still see him a lot. Oh and he's my always gosh, whispering that... in my ear and telling me that my mom is the one who should have died. Not him. That is it. That is it. I'm done. I'm done for tonight. I'm done. I'll tell you what. The only chance of me coming back in here is if mum comes back in here with me. I'm going to go in the ass and ask her to come back in, guys. And I'll tell you something. I'm, listen, if she does not do it, in the comments, you need to be saying, mum is an incomplete. Mum is an incomplete. All over the comments. So she needs to get involved with this. She promised to do it, guys. I've done it. Come on, I've done it. So give this video a thumbs up. Like, subscribe. Put the notifications on. I'm going to go and see mum. And let's see what happens after that. Okay, that's it. Good night. Bye bye. <laughs> do you guys want me and my dad to do a reaction video in the BFTs? Comment below.